What's going on? Nick here from virtualassistantassistant.com. Today, I'm joined by Nathan Hirsch from freeup.com, one of the fastest growing marketplaces. <laughs> Sorry, the dog's going crazy on the side there. Um, fastest growing marketplace for hiring freelancers. And so we wanted to uh, sit down with Nathan and figure out uh, what the what the company's all about, you know, who's it for, and how they're uh, kind of separating themselves from the, the competition when it comes to hiring remote workers. So um, I'll let you take it from here and maybe give us the, the overview of, you know, when you guys got started, how, how this whole thing came about. Sure. Um, thanks for having me, Nick. So I've been selling online for over a year. So I've tried every single marketplace out there. Um, I built my businesses with the help of remote workers, and I always wanted there to be a faster way because a lot of times you go to Upwork or Freelancer.com, you post a job, you get 100 applicants, you interview them one by one, and it just takes forever. And then if you do the alternative and you go to an agency, there's pros and cons for doing that as well. So I just wanted a faster way, and after years of not finding it, I decided to build them myself. So with FreeUp, you know, get hundreds of applicants every week to try to offer their services on the marketplace. We vet them for skill, attitude, and communication, which we can talk a little bit more about. Um, we take the top 1%, we let them in, and then we make them available to clients first come, first serve. It's free to sign up, there's no monthly fee, and then whenever you need a worker, you put in a request. We fill those requests within 24 hours, usually much faster. And on the back end, we have workers from five to $50 an hour, both US and non-US for every skill set. We're hands-on to make sure you have a good experience. And we're also insurance against turnover. If a worker quits for any reason, we cover all replacement costs and make sure you get a new worker right away. So I really built all that, all that based on my good and bad hiring experiences on other marketplaces. Okay, so it sounds like you're kind of sitting in between the agency model where it's like, hey, you're going to get the first person off the bench and the, the, the Upwork model where it's like you're going to cast a wide net, saying like the online jobs model, cast as wide a net as you can, and then you kind of are doing all the vetting yourself. What's, you know, you started in the e-commerce world. Is it still, is that still the main focus? Yeah, so I call it a, an organized marketplace, so to speak. Um, I, it's still our focus. I mean, when we started off, I was an Amazon seller, so it was very easy for me to be like, hey, I, I vetted all these Amazon workers, use them, and people had a good experience. And then they were like, oh, or do you vet bookkeepers? Do you vet graphic designers? Do you vet web developers? And we had to build out processes for vetting those people. Um, and, and since then, I mean, we've really grown. We definitely have a focus towards e-commerce. I would say the majority of our clients are in some way or another e-commerce. And because people that are in e-commerce usually sell on Amazon, we work with a lot of Amazon sellers. But we have plenty of clients that have nothing to do with e-commerce, whether they're business coaches or real estate agents, or uh, maybe they're just, they even have a brick and mortar store and they're hiring someone to run their social media. Um, we've really expanded a lot over the past two years. Okay. What's... Um what would be some like sample tasks for these FBA sellers or these e-commerce sellers? Like what are they having you guys uh, handle for them? Yeah. I mean, the first thing to take off your plate is customer service. Um, I remember the first day I didn't have to do customer service anymore. It was incredible. Um, but we do a lot more than that, whether it's optimizing Amazon listings and SBA, SEO, running PPC campaigns at a high level. And we even do that off Amazon, um, Google ads or Facebook ads, directing traffic to your Amazon listings, um, doing FBA and FBA reimbursements. Um, having just someone to do your QuickBooks that actually knows e-commerce and understands your business. So um, being an FBA seller, there's lots of tasks. And I do drop shipping on Amazon. So with drop shipping, there's even more tasks with FBA. So you can kind of figure out whether you need that lower level, mid-level, or expert level worker and plug them into your business accordingly. Okay. Well, tell me about the, the vetting process because on the site, it's you know, very um, proudly proclaiming, hey, we only hire the top 1% of applicants. And that sounds, that sounds good. So what's, uh, what's that vetting process like if I don't have to go through those 100 people myself? Yeah, so we, we vet people for skill, attitude, and communication. Now, the communication attitude is the same for everyone, whereas the skill, we obviously ask a graphic designer different questions than we would ask an Amazon expert. So we have very skill-specific questions that people go through. Um, it's an in-person interview process, not in-person, via Skype, but it's a one-on-one -on -one interview process. Um, and then through that, we're looking for people who are honest about what they can and cannot do because there's a time and place for a 5 out of 10 worker skill-wise and there's a time and a place for a 10 out of 10 worker. What's important for us is that they only take on tasks with, for clients that they can actually do and do at a high level. This isn't a marketplace to try out new skills on, on the clients. It's for someone that has experience and has done it. So we have that skill part of it. For attitude, we're looking for people that really love what they do, people who are passionate about it. I hate doing QuickBooks. I love being an entrepreneur. If I hire someone to do my QuickBooks, I want them to love QuickBooks as much as I love being an entrepreneur. 
And those are the kind of people we look for. We want people that don't wake up one day and just because they have a bad day, they take it up on the client. Um, that, that's not really what we're looking for. And communication is the key to everything. I mean, I don't care how talented you are, what your attitude is. If you and I can't communicate at a high level, it's never going to work out. So we have 15 pages of communication best practices that workers have to memorize and get tested on during the interview process. And I mean, yes, if they don't speak English at a high level, they don't get a foot into the interview process. But our communication goes well beyond that. We're looking for people who can show up on time, who can hit estimates, who can hit delivery dates, people who will keep clients updated. Um, one of the biggest terms are used for being on the marketplace is you have to respond to all clients within one business day. And most workers do it much faster than that. Um, but unless you gave previous notice, that that's a requirement as well. So clients know that, hey, it's hour 25, they can reach out to me and my team instead of having to chase down a worker for another three days. Okay. And you're, and you're bucketing these people into based on their skills tests, like into kind of, you know, good, good, better and best in terms of, you know, what they say they can do. And you kind of, are you assigning hourly rates based on that? Or is there freedom for the workers to say like, this is what, this is what I, this is what I want to earn? Good question. So it's a marketplace. The workers set their own rates. Um, with, with that said, we try not to shove people into boxes like you're lower, you're mid, you're expert. <laughs> Um, that's more of just a guideline for clients to figure out what they want to hire for. So okay. if you have your systems and processes in place and you're looking for someone who can follow those, that's when you go to that non-US lower level worker, ten, five to 10 bucks an hour, something in there. If, if you need someone to run your Facebook ads and you have no idea how to run Facebook ads, you don't hire a lower level worker. That's not going to turn, turn out well for you. Um, if you. If you need something specific done, the mid-level people for the most part are more specialized. They do one or two things really well. They're not there to have to follow your systems and processes. They're not there to really consult with you. They're there to do things, whether it's a graphic design or web development, whatever it is. Um, and then the experts, the twenty-five to fifty dollar an hour people, those are your top level people. Five, ten, fifteen years of experience. Okay, and for as far as the talent pool, is it? You mentioned, hey, we've got people in the in the. United States, we've got, imagine Philippines, India, like, is it just a, any, we'll take all comers as far as geography? Yeah, I mean, we don't discriminate. For whatever reason, it's ended up we're about 40% US, 40% Philippines, and 20% scattered around the world. Um, for whatever okay. reason, the Filipinos tend to do better in our interview process, but we didn't really design it that way. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the breakdown. And, and they're all working, and everybody's working from home. Correct. It's a or, remote work. Yeah, okay. Um, anybody who's not a good fit for this type of thing where, you know, I don't know if you had problem clients or if you had just people who are like, yeah, this didn't do it for me. Like I don't know, who should, who should not use free up? If you're someone that doesn't treat a freelancer client relationship as a business to business relationship, and instead you're talking down to workers or you're yelling at them. I mean, that, that's really the biggest thing. I, I've only had to remove like one or two clients from the marketplace in two years. And that's just because they were just brutal to other people, which is something, I mean, I, I, I don't, I didn't create this marketplace for freelancers to just get yelled at. You know what I mean? That's not why I built this. So, I mean, outside of that, I mean, we, we accept all clients, whether you're, just starting your business and you've never sold anything before, or we have some clients that are selling a hundred million dollars a year and, and everything in between. So um, if you're someone that has never hired before, or you're someone that has made bad hires before, or you're just so busy that you can't spend a lot of time interviewing, this marketplace is perfect for you. Yeah. That's, that's the appeal of like, so I am kind of going through the hiring process for the first time on free up myself this week. And I had responses back, you know, probably in less than an hour, you know, with, with applications and stuff. I was like, Oh, this, this is pretty good, you know, and then I had maybe four or five people to choose from. So it was, it was a very quick turnaround. And at least on the surface, people seem pretty well, uh, well qualified. So I get to, I get to dive into, you know, the actual uh, trials and, you know, put them, put them through the tasks uh, here in a little bit. So I'm looking forward to, um, uh, to doing that. I had another thing I was going to ask you, I forget what it was going to be. It, 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 oh, it was on the, on the pricing. So you guys work on the kind of on the Upwork plan where we're going to take a fee off of the client billings and that's, that's how you can keep the lights on and, and, you know, afford to do all this vetting process. Yeah. So our billing periods are Wednesday to Tuesday. Uh, by default, the workers are hourly, although they're more, it's their business. They're more than welcome to charge a fixed price if they want to um, or do a monthly fixed price. Um, that's really between the worker and the client, but the default is hourly. Um, billing periods Wednesday to Tuesday. We charge you every Thursday. Um, and yeah, I mean, whatever, if we tell you Bob is 10 bucks an hour, you're paying 10 bucks an hour, nothing else. Our fee is factored in. 
Okay, fair enough. Anything else uh, that we ought to know? Yeah, I mean, it's all about speed. It's all about valuing people's time. We, that's what it's all about. I mean, I talk fast. We try to operate <laughs> free up in the same way, um, both on the client side and the worker side. We have a lot of systems in place to just make it as easy as possible for, for clients and workers to use. And we have a lot of great software updates coming as well um, just to make the marketplace easier and easier. So um, it, it's all about the client experience. We love feedback. I know right before this, you and I were just talking about feedback. And we take that stuff seriously, and we try to implement it as fast as we possibly can. Well, it's been pretty crazy. It's been pretty um, inspiring to watch. You guys come come out of nowhere, basically. You know, somebody who's been watching this industry for a long time come out of nowhere, and all of a sudden, like friends who you know have no connection to you no know, otherwise connected, you know, they're kind of recommending, "Hey, have you have you heard of this site, Free Up?" Like, it's like okay, you know. So apparently, the word the word is getting around, and and people are starting to to. to check it out. So very cool. Uh, you can check out the, um, the user reviews below this video on virtualassistantassistant.com. See what other people have to say about the free up marketplace. If you're over on YouTube, you can head over to the site to check that out as well as a special offer for virtual assistant assistant visitors. Nathan, man, thank you so much for joining me. We'll catch up with you soon. Thanks so much for having me, Nick.